I'd say I've been sleeping rough recently. Been staying in the travel lodge. Any of you ever just stay in the travel lodge? Yeah. Ooh, Premier Henry types. I would stay in a Premier Henry if it wasn't for Lenny Henry walking around in his dressing gown. The time and place for those are where? That's not it. Staying in room 203 of the travel lodge. It's a bit confusing. There's only actually 40 rooms in the actual lodge. The only issue that number refers to the number of fire doors you have to walk through just to get to your fucking room. And the rooms are just a bit shit, aren't they, to be honest? Clearly, that's why you guys don't stay there. You know, get to get to use the shower and the hot tap, it's not measured in degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. It's just first, second, or third degree burns. <laughs> and I'm never quite sure what to do with the towel. Do you put it on the rail, or do you put it in the bath if you want to change it? I don't understand that policy. Why would you put it in the bath if you want to change it? I tried putting the curtains in the bath. They just put them back up again. <laughs> then I uh, thought I'd uh, try and make a cup of tea, so I sat down for a good night, used their shitty little kettle. And I sat down, put the kettle on, waited for it to boil. An hour later, <laughs> getting across those little tiny pots of minute made milk. Seriously, does anyone actually know what minute made milk actually is? What is it? Where does it come from? And more importantly, all those tiny maids being looked after. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, that's, uh, I'm really worried about that. You know, it's, you never see it in large quantities. It comes in tiny individual pots. And it tastes fucking horrible. <laughs> Clearly, it might be a product of some awful, horrible, secret milk gulag. <laughs> it's not much of a joke, but to be honest, secret milk gulag is a good punchline. <laughs> <laughs> modern, modern travel lodges have Wi-Fi, wireless internet, free Wi-Fi in the bar, but pay for Wi-Fi in the room. If you want Wi-Fi in your room, you have to pay for it. That's not good for internet porn, is it? Is it? No. Yeah, no thanks for the bar staff and the police at the Broadway Travel Lodge. We're very understanding. Uh, I took part in the uh, Brighton Marathon on Sunday. <laughs> Four hours, 27 minutes. Yay! Yeah, that's how long it took me to find a place to fucking cross that bastard. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Bloody hell, the AA closed every single road in Brighton and Hove. <laughs> Chaos. That's what you get when you ask the Alcoholics Anonymous to plan the event. <laughs> Jeez, and, and runners as well. They hate the environment. Oh, you should see the litter. All near the finish line. Looked like a bomb had gone off. Oh. <laughs> Too soon. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst I was in the, the travel lodge, I was watching uh, BBC News and Sky News. It's the only two channels you actually get. And it was uh, breaking news. Margaret Thatcher, dead. News. news update, Thatcher still dead. Interview with man who wants new Thatcher. Update bracket, still dead. I'm sick of hearing that, Thatcher's dead. To be honest, I'm quite tempted just to dig her up and reanimate her myself, quite frankly. Anything that will make it just stop. News isn't news unless it's new. News isn't breaking news if it's already been broken. You don't have to hack a phone to work that one out. Also, the news has been the Texas uh, explosion, the big explosion of the fertilizer factory in Waco. Apparently, the authorities are still looking for the type of explosive used. Now, probably a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> probably going to be. fertilizer. <laughs> Fuck me, how did that escape them? The geniuses. Also, in the news, North Korea, little Kim Jong un has been very threatening, threatening thermonuclear war. On the Korean Peninsula. Peninsula? <laughs> yeah, scary, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that, um, you should be scared of Kim Jong un. If you look at his little face, little pudgy face, 
That kid's clearly been bullied at school. <laughs> you, know, I, you could have gone to any school in the world, you've been bullied. Thankfully, they sent him to Switzerland. And we all know the Swiss are some of the most safest, kindest people in the world. The Swiss couldn't harm anyone. And their minds are just too tiny. Thank you very much. I'm Chris. Good night.